All right, so what we have here, and I'm going to show you this. To give the room people, we, we turn this thing into a studio and everything else. Now, I'm not going to show you the numbers, and no, this is not the dog's registration number, so don't do nothing stupid. You hear me? Don't do nothing stupid. What we have is a registration form. Oh, my bad. An actual certificate and a registration form. This is Zara's. I'll show you. I'll show you this here. Let me put this back here. Else. This is Zara. I said Zara, right? This is Zara's uh, registration form. Well, this is the beginning of a number, or her number, 400,000. October, what day was she born? 10-2. 10-2 should be four years old. So in four years, there are now one million puppies. This is the puppy Bossy Hot Shot in the Nassar, uh, from four. And, and crazy part is, from when Hot Shot was born to when Zara was born, there were almost a hundred thousand more American bullies, because he's right in that four four hundred thousand, four hundred five, and then whatever the rest of the number is. I mean, I know what it is. I'm looking at, it. and then Zara was four ninety nine. Now, let me tell you about the problems with this. Here's the problem. From here to here, it literally means the dog, AKA the American Bully has doubled. Let me tell you why that's a bad thing. What I do know is nine out of 10 times people don't like business the way that I do at least. I'm, a, I'm pretty obsessed with it if I'm being honest. And back in the day, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs sat down and they did a talk and they talked about scaling up. And when you scale up, unfortunately, it means you're now responsible for that many more people's lives, that many more, more jobs, that many more people depending on you to come to work every day and feed and take care of their family. So when you have to add 25,000 new employees, it's scary for a business owner because now you are responsible in every way, shape and form. Even if you file for bankruptcy in your business, payroll doesn't mean bankruptcy, so you still have to pay the people who work for you, if you, I'm going to just file bankruptcy and get rid of the business, you still held liable for your employees and the person who owns it, they normally get paid less. So let me tell you why this is bad. And the question is, is do you actually want to learn how to breed better dogs? Because if I'm looking at four years ago, that number, and I'm looking at this number from a business standpoint, because I'm a businessman, I say this, a lot of bad things happen from here to here. And I know because I get the messages. And I don't know that better things are happening from here to here. And then you say, why did it double? Well, COVID was, was the case where people say, oh, man, I'm gonna get some money in this dog, a side hustle. You know the thing about side hustles. <laughs> I was asked somebody this one time, I said, man, Trev, you know, I got a little side hustle. I said, what's wrong with your real job? He said, well, you know, I just need an extra, a little extra money. I said, so the job doesn't have good bonus structures. And they didn't even understand what I was asking, if I'm being honest, people. There was no, so I said, so what you tell me in your real day-to-day -day job, you don't have, there's no opportunity for you to grow. Uh, he's like, uh, does your company hire within? Do you get first right of refusal when they open up a new position? No clue what I was talking about. It just kept getting worse and worse if I'm being honest. <laughs> so when I'm looking at 499, 1 million and some change, is there, are there 500,000 new opportunities for people to come in and, and you know, you get some great dogs or, or are there more dogs in the shelter? Are there more dogs struggling? Are there more dogs with bad uh, traits? Are there more dogs who are unhealthy? If you're in the American bully space, you tell me. I'm not gonna put anyone down. But what I will say is how we think about breeding is one step and one dog at a time. And it on average takes us anywhere from one to two years, well, two to three years, if not four, to make sure we make just decisions. In this case, it poses the question again, do you actually want to learn how to breed? And I'm thankful for those people who have um, reached out, learned, listened, watched, and applied some of the education and information I put out there. But the gist of it is, if you get a girl and you wait the two years, or in some cases we're like, ah, I gotta 
and she's a year old, man. She'll be fine, man. <laughs> you know how long it takes for a dog's character to develop? In some cases, genetically speaking, an aggressive dog's traits won't even express themselves till two. So technically, nobody's actually bred the dogs to be better dogs, except probably a few people, and that's not me putting everybody down. That's me saying, I know a couple of them, and I know a couple of them. <laughs> Past that, I think people are just breeding because they see the, uh, oh, my red marker fell. I need a green one. They see this right here. But let me tell you this, man. If I could be of any service, most dogs ain't gonna get you rich, okay? It's gotta be more to the story. But I do challenge you with this. If you are interested in us doing more videos on breedings, what we look for, the things that even my standard that everyone has to live up to, including me, for the dogs to meet, let us know. I'm not gonna react and respond right away, but we will see the comments and we will take an interest in trying to slow down the digression. You say, oh, this looks progressive. No, we're going to slow down the digression of... I was going to say shitty bulls if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, but the digression of people being unconcerned with the quality of a dog's life. And more so interested in the quality of a dog's life. And qualities based on how long something lives and how well it lives long. You have, a, oh, you have an old grandparent per se. That joker's still walking around doing stuff. I said, man, my grandfather's had a good quality of life. He was never subjected to a nursing home. He was able to drive until he was 88, 85 years old. He, he, he got to get up and do as he pleased until he went out of here. On his own two good feet. They weren't that good, but he had two feet. <laughs> my nana, she had a stroke at 90. Broke her hip. Or hit, she broke her hip prior, but she had a stroke. And they couldn't figure out why she even fell. But till 90 years old, she was still strutting. So I repeat, when I look at quality of life, I'm thinking, how long can you live well? And how well can you live? Well, those are the things that we're studying here. I'm not trying to put my impression or ideology on anyone. What I'm saying is, is you've, you, you, people still ask me a lot of questions. And I don't even do this because I want to be asked questions. I do this because it needs to be done. It needs to exist. And I do hope it helps. But as I said, our breedings are based in this. These boys, they're good boys, but um, I tell you this, even with watching Junior grow up, we know his dad's ego, and ego's a dog. He's not. Didn't mean he can't be, because we got work to do. But the just of it, he took on his mother's traits. Just like all the other breedings that we with Zara, they took on their mother's traits. The traits, again, I'm building a bloodline. You know what a bloodline is? Based on traits, tra real traits. Traits of intelligence, I want to see them you know, live 10, 15 years, be healthy. And, and I want to see focus. I want to see drive. I want to see all, I, I want to see a lot of things that matter to me. And that's it. That's all. So guys, subscribe. If you feel like you're learning stuff, comment. If you want to know more about why we breed and how we breed, I can't talk about anybody else's program. I could care less. I don't know what nobody else is doing. It's none of my business. We got a lot going on here. <laughs> and I don't mean that like, oh, we doing so much. I mean, we got a lot of problems ourselves to solve people day in and day out, which is why we work so hard for our dogs. Keep taking care of those dogs, people. And we'll talk soon.